Hi everyone, this is Sunil Yadav. In today's session, I am going to explain how we can install Kubernetes and kubectl to use in MacBook M1. So let's get started. So I was trying to install MacBook um, like Kubernetes in MacBook M1, but was not able to do that. But today I am able to do that. So those experience I am going to share with you so that you can install mini cubes in MacBook M1. So I, I have seen the I Google it. I have seen this thread. So let's go over it. So in this one, right? Um, if we can see GitHub Kubernetes mini cube issue, this one. So if you go there in this page and see like um, this links detail. So all these steps I already have put it here. We can see you. We, I I will put this content on with this video. So if you go there and download. 1.17.1 version of minikube so once you click this link it will uh, automatically going to download for us now once downloaded we need to follow these steps the second steps most important thing is please delete mini all the mini cubes whatever you have tried in docker okay so hope you already installed the preview version of the docker the way i have installed here so similar hope you already done, done, did it if you haven't done it please go through the my YouTube channel, you will find out the one of the video. I already put it in. So if you once you purge all your Docker image and make sure you, is no, no process is available for us, then we need to go to follow these steps. So we need to make the downloaded file to executable first thing. Once you make executable, we, we can remove uh, rename it from move through the move command. We can rename this to minikube. Okay. Once we have done it, we need to move through the sudo move minikube under this folder user local win. So it will be available for us whenever we say minikube start. So once this is done, we can start minikube start and kubectl version minikube dashboard. So this, uh, this command is going to be work for us. But one more most important thing is I have done all these steps under I at Rosetta mode. So I have enabled the my item to in Rosetta mode. So, mode. so if you don't know how we can enable it, I already made one video. If you can find out in my YouTube channel. Okay. So because I have run all these steps through Rosetta terminal mode, enable mode. Okay. So now we can see here, right? Uh, let me do command C and let me run again minikube dashboard. So if we run this command, so we can see like this board dashboard is open and is running. So we can see the deployment pods replica set. If I can go to my service, right? I can see one service is running. So I run just hello world example. So that makes sure I'm 100% sure is running perfectly or not. So, uh, so once this is done, uh, make sure you try to run this command like it's working fine. Keep CTL version. So I can say cube CTL version right so we can say this is running mini cube version right so this is also running like version 1.17.1 so this is perfectly also running so once this is running i tried to use hello world my one example so i used uh, this um, tutorial so let me go over here so let me close this one this one earlier i was open so we need to follow these steps. So I followed like, uh, you know, how many steps here. So if you go to this page and uh, use uh, these steps, basically, so we can see the hello application.ml content, right? We are going to deploy hello world with the base image, Google base image, this one. When this is done, what we need to do, just we need to from a process step, just uh, we can copy paste these steps, right? I have done these steps, so I'm not going to run it, uh, but this is very straightforward. If you run one by one and see like uh, all these details. So if I can say kubectl get deployment, hello world, right? So if I run it, so it, it see it's available. So let me do control L. So we can say it's running to replica and available for us like 17, eight minute ago, minute is okay. So let me run it. So we can run it one by one. So once we succeed, so last what we need to do, we need to check my services perfectly running or not. So I'm going to run this one. So we can see 
right this service is running perfectly fine so in this example right in last uh, if you see the session we are trying to say here uh, in the last one like we need to check its hello kubernetes printing or not so how we can check is like curl http public node ip and node port so i tried all these things uh, but it was not working um, so what i have done i have run this command like mini cube service example if we can run example minus service okay and if we can use this command okay so let me run here so if we can run here right so it's going to give me the endpoint url for this service what endpoint url what port is running we can see here like target port is 8080 right and uh, this is this port i tried to run through the ip address and this endpoint but it didn't work so i tried to be this one like mini cube service example my what is saying because you are using docker driver on driven the terminal need to be open to run it so i tried to run it to test it uh, it's working or not so if i curl this command curl command b right so we can say hello kubernetes is working so this is like um, all the steps i followed if you follow it will install for you and hello kubernetes is printing that means kubernetes is working perfectly fine okay so i have put it like um, all the steps here and i will copy it with my this video okay and if you have any question any issues please reach out to me and share your feedback and please subscribe my channel and share your feedback thank you so much for your time hope you like this session